What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I just finished watching episode 11 of season 1 of Dragon Ball. My reaction is going to be under my YouTube memberships. If you are new here and you don't know what that is, that's just a little something extra I got over there. For members only, you get to have special perks. I've got two levels of memberships over there. Level 1 is for $2.99 and you get priority replies for me, special polls and live streams. Level 2 is for $4.99 and you get everything that Level 1 has. Plus, you're going to get all of my reactions to all of the shows that I watch, any movies that I may watch, and all of my uncut. Try not to laugh. So go over there and check that out. Now, in this episode, they are still trapped in Pilaf's castle with whatever... He seems to have so many contraptions all over his castle full of traps and crazy things. It, I don't understand it. It's it's nuts. So anyway, they're trapped and they're trying to get out. And meanwhile, he can see them through the camera that he has installed, I guess, in the little room that they're trapped in. So Bulma, being the bride that she is, she's sitting there talking junk to him or whatever. And he's like, oh, you want to talk junk? Okay, let's give you the treatment. And... um. Uh, um, Pilaf's, uh, assistants, I think it's, uh, Mai and, and, uh, it's not Par, it's, um, oh my gosh, I forgot the little dog's name, but anyway, so, they, he gets, he grabs her somehow with some claw that comes out of the wall, or the ceiling, brings her over to where he is, his little, office space or whatever long story short with that the treatment was him giving her a kiss meanwhile <laughs> my and and the little dog i forget his name um he they're sitting there scared as heck like i'm thinking like the worst and all of a sudden he blows a kiss and i'm just like what that was the treatment and boma's like that's it and he's sitting there like blushing and they're sitting there still looking scared. And he's like, yep. And he's sitting there twiddling his fingers. And she's like, that's all you got? So now she's really talking junk. Like she's like a, a first grader can think of something worse than that. So now he's really upset. So he throws her back into that room that they're all trapped in. And what's funny was that when she got taken away, Oolong was so happy. He was standing there like karma's a bee, ain't it? Like. He was, he was loving every minute of it because she was talking so much junk to him. So then when he threw her back in that room, he was just like, man, like, <laughs> I thought something worse was going to happen to her. So anyway, then he decided to gas the room and put them to sleep to try to find, to try to get to the last, you know, the fourth Dragon Ball. So it actually worked. But the problem is that when they went to go to the room, he walked in without a mask and Pilaf's, he excuse me, fell asleep too. And I'm just like, how are you going to set a trap and then get got by your own trap? So then Mai ended up taking, am I saying her name right? My, probably. So then anyway, they ended up taking the Dragon Ball. So now they got it. So now the whole, the rest of the episode, they're trying to run away and he ends up forgetting to close the wall. So they end up escaping and they ended up kind of coming to like a cross section or like a side way or whatever. And they end up both meeting each other. And Bulma's like, did you make the wish yet? And Pilaf's shaking his head like, no. So now they're running after him. So they end up escaping while they're still running around. So they end up getting trapped in this other room, which ends up being a ping pong machine room. And they're getting jacked up by this ball and he's controlling it with this piano. And I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. And it seems like everywhere they go, this ball follows. So now they're running away and it looks like a maze. They're kind of running through. And at some point they end up at a wall and the ball stops. And then they're like, oh, it stopped. And what happened was they ended up in the same room that they started with. So now they're trapped in there again. Now the whole time, Pilaf and his little crew has all the Dragon Ball. So now they're making their way out to go finally resurrect the dragon. Uh, 
and well, not resurrect, but you know, call the dragon and make their wish. Meanwhile, they're all trying to figure out how to get out of this room. So now um, Yamcha tells Goku that he's got to use his Kamehameha to try to get out of there. So I guess he hasn't perfected it yet. He does it and it's pretty cool when he does it, but he ends up blowing a small hole through the wall. <laughs> so it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. So then what happens is Poir turns into a bat and somehow tries to get to where the pilaf is in the dragon balls so then oolong of course he can turn into anybody so he ends up turning into the bat that pilaf looks like so it's like a flying pig and pilaf is like a flying cat it's weird but cute at the same time so anyway they end up flying out trying to get to them but by the time they got to them they have already called the dragon but they haven't made their wish yet so I'm hoping that they can fly and at least grab one of those balls before they actually speak to the dragon. I'm hoping that that's the case because I'm like, oh my gosh, because th this can't go to Pilaf's, in, in Pilaf's favor. It just cannot. Like, I need to see one of them grab one of those dragon balls and take it away. So we'll see what happens in uh, episode 12. But anyway, I really enjoyed this episode. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed my review. And if you guys, if you remember, because I know this is a long, long, long series. If you guys remember the first season, if you enjoyed this episode, let me know as well. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Hit like, share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. And again, please go over and check out my YouTube memberships. Um... $2.99 is nothing a month for you guys to get a few little perks. $4.99, you can see all of the reactions to all of the shows that I've watched. I've got The Boys. I've got House of the Dragon. I've got She-Hulk. I've got WandaVision. I've got Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, what else do I have? I'm watching Naruto, so i got a few episodes over there. Um, I know I saw The, um, the Last of Us, um, The Mandalorian. I've got a couple of things and a few movies that I watched as well. So Tulsa King. So you guys can go over there and check out my reactions to all of those shows. I think I might have missed a few. I've got a few on Cut Try Not to Laughs. I say a few because it's a good thing that I only have a few over there. I mean, it is what it is. That just means that I haven't run into any issues with my um, Try Not to Laugh. So that's always a plus. Um, and of course, I haven't done any live streams because I don't have a lot of people coming on at the same time. Like I barely see a lot of people seeing the reactions so once I see a really good amount of those um I'll go ahead and do that but I may end up doing a live stream for everyone at some point but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below below and I'll see you guys on the next one toodles